What is going on guys? It is I, Boy Logan here, and welcome to my very first tutorial video on how to play. <laughs> I think I might be making a series on this, I don't know, but um, I wanted to start by Princess Connect Redive, which is my favorite anime game I play. So I wanted to make a tutorial video on this since one of my friends on Discord is having trouble with it. Um, he doesn't know the language, he doesn't really know how to play it. He doesn't know what everything is and that stuff. Um, and I want to help all of you guys out if you guys don't know what the game is, pretty much um, how you play it and that stuff. So let's get in it. First thing you may notice is you're going to have to download a lot of data. This game has probably more than, um, I think like 6 gigabytes or 5. So you want to make sure you have a phone that has good enough storage. Uh, phones like the Samsung Galaxy S8, 9, and 10 are useful for this. Moving on to the next thing, here is the main character screen. So on the main character screen, you can have a total of five characters in here that are your favorites. Four characters that you start off with are on one star, which are Pekorin, Kokoro, Kiaru, and Yui. These are the four primary characters to start off with. And no, you not you do not start off with these characters this high. You start off at them with one star. And you get and after you've done your first ever battle, you get to do your first ever gacha pull. Which you can get any kind of character from, but your very first one gets you a three-star guaranteed character. The guaranteed three-star character is always random, so you don't know who you're going to get. Like, let me just show you guys, for instance, um, down here. Like, you don't know if you're going to get Io, Kyoka, Tomo, Makoto, Ruka, um... Let me see, uh, Kazumi, Maho... Um, Ninon, Ilya, Anna, Monica, Dijera, Orisa, um, Shizuru, Reno, Anne, Saren, Hatsune, Akino, Nozomi, Jun. Those are all type of characters you can get. Back to the main menu screen for now. Um, now here's a lot of things that are going on in here. Let me just select a different character for this. I mean, you can select different type of characters in here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it with the basic. We're going to go Pekorin for newbies. So, up here we have the level system, which I am level 108. It goes max up to level 145, though I think with the next update, 150. You also have the amount of stamina, which every five minutes, one piece of stamina gets regenerated. Over here is the mana cost, which this is the amount of mana you can have. And if you want more mana, you're going to have to buy it with gems. There's many ways to earn gems. Speaking of gems, right next to it are the, ju is, are the gems, which if you want to buy them, you got to use money. I know, wasteful. Just using money on an anime game. I mean, there might be a lot of anime lovers out there and that stuff. <laughs> um, but Princess Connect is just a great game, as we all know. Now, over here are these special um, packs. These are the special packs where you can get yourself special equipment for certain characters. If you have them on a certain rank, you get a shit ton of mana. And you also get yourself a ton of other stuff. You get like silver, gold, gold, and purple. This is bronze equipment, but that's not in those packs. Um, over here is the voice lines for your characters. And up here. I'm um, sorry if I scroll down, but up here you can be able to change to the two star portrait slash one star. Over here you can be able to set it up to a different screen where you can have it like um, sideways. Over here you can completely zoom in. And with the print and with this character icon, you can be able to change the characters. Now here is a bunch more other stuff. Over here we have the gifts, which you receive stuff in from, from the game itself. 
randomly. Um, over here are your daily missions, which the star ribbon. Which here are all of the daily missions you can do. Um, at the start, you don't have many daily missions to do. But the more you progress on, the more daily missions you're going to unlock. So you, don't wanna make, so you wanna make sure you keep doing your daily missions every day. It provides you a ton of XP. Um, now here are the progressive campaign missions. Slash other missions. Require you for certain characters to get 5 characters to rank 11. Earn 70 characters. PvP stuff. Um, um, uh, the tower. The dungeon. I think these are the characters. Yeah, these are the characters. You have PvP stuff and characters and that stuff. Uh, let's go back to the missions. Um, and over here, it requires you to get a character to 6-star, which these are the newest additions to the game. Which, our next 6-star is going to be Rima. If you guys are hyped for another 6-star character to come at the end of next month, make sure you guys comment that down below. Um, here is the ribbon system. Now, this is not the original ribbon system. This is the... Um, some sort of metal system, which getting certain uh, certain rewards of these can get you up to specific um, specific things of these, which are like the sort of ribbons. So there's like some sort of badges, and you get 50 gems from them if you reach five star. Um, one stars, on the other hand, are going to take quite some time. You have man, you have a lot of them. And six stars even get their own unique ones. If you get them to six star at least. For instance, let me see if I can find my current five star, which I can get the six star. Let's see if we can find her. Uh, here, Kiaru. You see, he gets a special badge if you get her to six star. And, because the fact you get a 6-star, you also get 100 gems. Let's back out. Going over here, here's the, um, the mail stuff. Here, Princess can, here, Psy Games keeps you up with the latest news and that stuff. So that's pretty good. Um, over here is the clan slash guild system. Now, this many guild members, here are all your guild members. You can even make a guild yourself. Because if I clan battle is over, I can leave my guild. But you can also join one. And over here we have a store. Which, you can trade many things in here. You can trade mana, um, dungeon coins. Dungeon coins can be used for these memory shards. These memory shards are very special as you can level up. As you can um, get unique equipment, level up unique equipment, start them up, all that kind of stuff. Now here's the PvP selection. It's the Princess Arena. Again, same thing except with Princess Arena. I mean Arena, except with Arena coins. With this one, you this one these are dungeon coins. Um, now here are the Princess Arena coins, which you also get specific shards from them. And gear. Um, now here's the clan battle store. Clan battle store is a bit different. As the clan battles are only held once a month. And you guys may notice I haven't unlocked this yet. This is the master store. In order to unlock that. You need to reach the max level cap. Which is currently level 145. But it changes every now and then. Um, here is the goddess gem store. Here you can trade in your goddess gems. From duplicates from your gachas. You can trade in them for character shards. Normally with the original gachas, you get yourself shards for a certain character that you pull. Like for instance, um, let me see. For instance, if you get a two-star character and you get Chica, you would then be receiving 10 shards for her, for instance. But, because the fact you get goddess gems, you can actually be able to buy shards for another character instead of the character you draw. Over here we have the daily battle store. You can only get five of these pretty much a day. And you can refresh them whenever you want, as long as you have the gems for it. Now, over here, there will be an event selection, which the com upcoming event for Halloween is Dragon Explorers. 
Make sure you guys stay tuned for a video on that tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are excited for it. Um, going over to the character selection screen. Now, this one is a lot more interesting. As Here's where all your characters are. And you guys may be noticing, um, uh, like for instance, Ram, Summer Eo, Halloween Kyoka, um, Summer Susana. Pretty much a lot of good characters. Now you guys are wondering, how did you get all these characters, Logan? Some of these are special limited time characters you can get for a limited amount of time. Um, Summer Maho, for instance, is a limited time character. Which on this screen, you can see the gear stuff. So you have to equip six pieces of gear to rank her up. This right here means that pieces of gear are missing. So you're going to have to get certain parts of the gear in order to progress. Over here is the level system. So you can level up your characters. Uh, my Summer Maho is level 63. My max level for her is level 108. Now here's the ability area. With this ability area, you can be able to upgrade certain abilities. Your EX ability on your characters is unlocked at rank 7. Your first ab this ability over here is pretty much the primary ability. This ability gets unlocked at number 2. And then number 4 gets another ability. Going over here, here is the blooming system as it's supposed to be called. Getting a certain amount of shards for a character, can, you can be able to bloom them. Which means you can start them up. Which... If you want to get a 1-star character to 2-star, it's going to take 30 memory shards. From a 2-star to 3-star, it's going to take you 100. From 3-star to 4-star, 120. And from 4-star to 5-star, 150. Over here is the unique equipment section, but because the fact that Maho doesn't have one, I'll just throw up Kazumi for here. So as you guys can see, there will be a special item over here that you can be able to unlock. For this, you're going to need character shards and princess hearts. Princess hearts are used to get these unique equipments. You're also going to need a million mana. Now, there's three different types of characters. There's front row, which are all the characters that are in the front line. You have tanks and you have physical attackers. Certain tanks are be able, can be able to not do much damage with their ultimate. But they have a ton of health, which they can defend their team. Which that's why they always stay strong. Some of the tanks I recommend are Jun, Nozomi, um, Miyako, and Odio Kuka. Those are some of the tanks I recommend. Going over to the mage side, this is like the rear side. These characters are damage dealers, which deal a ton of damage to your opponents. Characters like instance for Saren, Monica. Mifuyu, Yukari, Anna, they are good damage dealers. Yori and Akari are good too. And finally we have the Mage Selection. These are the characters that are in the far back. They do the most damage. And some ultimates even damage the characters. And some even heal their teammates or debuff the enemies or buff the teammates. Although there's one difference with all, with all of these characters. And that is with Nenaka. Her ultimate is far different than all of the others, as she actually clones herself to be able to, and that clone will then be able to fight in battles too. All of this stuff up here doesn't matter. Moving over now to the story scrolls. This is a thing you got to do, as all of these stories give you certain amount of gems. Every story grants you 20 gems. And the amount of stories you do, the more you do, the more gems you get. Which is what we all want. There's a total currently of 15 stories. And 28 worlds. So if you like going through stories, then read these. Moving over here, we here we have the character stories. Character stories are unlocked through a certain system. Which you have to start, which you have to increase their bond system. By giving them stuff or playing a lot with them. That sounds pretty weird, I know. Just deal with it. Um, you have eight stories in total. Characters that are two or one star can only have half of their stories. Characters that are three star can have all of their stories. However, like for instance for Reno, if a character has six star, she gets four extra stories. Which means you're going to have to get them to six star to unlock the last four. Every time when you reach one of these certain ones for IR for real life, you get yourself 50 gems. With all these others, you get 20. 
Yet again, we have also certain random ones as I managed to get AOI to three star. Um, but yeah, nothing really different. Um, not here are the guild stories, which you can also get gems from. You get 50 gems for one guild story, as there are many guilds to go through. From the gourmet evidence all the way down to this one, which I don't know the name of, so I'm just going to go with the one above, Lucent Academy. Uh, you can get a ton of gems. And going over here, here are all of the event stories. As for Luna Tower, I've almost completed all of them. We just need one more, which is going to be up here after five, after four, which is five. Um, over here, we have all of these um, dungeon parts, which these dungeon things are used for stories, which you might also get gems from. Here are all the PvP um, reading stuff, which is for clamp, which is for burst, which is for my. Uh, PvP, like Arena and Princess Arena. Um, here's some stuff for the Guild House. And up here we have all the events. Um, I've only been through 10 events. But there's many more. You have um, Vampire Hunting with Ilya. Dangerous Vacation. Um, Tamaki and Mifuyu Deserted Island. Black Iron Ghost. Trick or Perrin. ReZero. Series in the Rainbow Stage. Maho Maho Kingdom. Character the Fourth and Little Little Brave Halloween Night. Now let me put one up for instance, Re Zero. Um, with these ones, with brand new events, you don't only get these stories to go through, but you also get character stories to go through, which there's many characters you can go through. Um, though I didn't manage to unlock Amelia, which I do have Rem and Ram, which these are quite great. Um, and that's about it for the story stuff. Now for battling. There's a ton of battling stuff. So you have main story. Which I'm on world 22. Which you start first in the continent of Astrea. Which is Astrum. You first start in world number one. Then you move on to all of these other worlds. And as you progress, you unlock more pieces of gear and more harder enemies to face. The last world you can go to is world 28, which 29 will be added real soon. You'll just keep on scrolling over and over. Though Astrum's adventure ends at level at area 17, which then we go over to the mysterious Elpis Island. Which is where the rest of the adventure continues. We also have hard mode. Which is just like all the other type of hard modes. Um, you know, three battles, try to earn some character shards and that stuff. You guys may notice I've done certain, one, certain ones. Um... Because we're going for those characters to get them to three star. You again, you have a ton of them. So I want to make sure you beat all of them. Um, there's also the sweeping function, which you can have to sweep through a battle and do all of them without even needing to do something yourself, but simply just sweeping. It's pretty handy. And you can get shards for characters you really, really like, and shards you really need. You can also get shards for characters that you really want, for instance, um, Kyoka. I'm trying to get her shards, as I already have 105, which I need 40 more. You need a total of 145 shards to unlock a character. And last but not least, we have Very Hard. This is only available on Elpis Island. Which very hard is not available on Astrum, but it is available on Alpus Island, which the only characters you can face in there are Pecorin, Kokoro, Kiaru, Reno, and on the 31st of October 2019, Rima. Going over to the exploration. 
You can get yourself mana and XP potions, which is going to be super useful. In case you want to level up your characters and increase their abilities. Now, here is the dungeon. We have many types of dungeons. As you guys can see, I haven't gone through this one completely yet. I have beaten the boss. Um, but you get guilt uh, dungeon coins from now. Over here, you have princess orbs. And here we have the princess hearts. So let me just complete these very quick. Um, they, these, this also has a sweeping function. Which is very handy, yet again. Um... If you don't feel like battling, you can just do the sweeping function. It's a very, very handy, trust me. Um, now you need three princess hearts to get a character their unique equipment, which I'm going for many. And you have the princess orbs, which are used for six star characters. It's only six star equipment. You need a hundred of these. So make sure you keep racking up. Um, now, here's the clan battle, which ended today. Um, which this boss we have to face. The last one was the scorpion, which we, which we were got on tier two. So pretty good. Um, now here we have the arena. So this is like all the classic arenas. You get to face one team, one v one, that kind of good stuff. The so princess arena is different, as you have to face one person with three teams, and if two of your team and if two teams win. The match is over. The third team doesn't have to fight. However, if your team wins a match and the enemy team wins a match, that means the third team is going to go into fight. Right, going over to the guild house. In the guild house, you have certain amount of items. You can even dress up your guild house and put different amount of characters in there. The, lo the more you progress, the more floors you unlock, which at level 9... Area 9, you unlock floor 2, I think, or 8, and on area and on number 3, you unlock, and for floor 3, you want to unlock that, you get yourself from a, when to get yourself 16, 14. All right, now, as you guys can see, the carrots will interact with each other, as there's also interactive items around the area. And all characters have interactions with each other and such items. Uh, for instance, with these Halloween items, with Halloween tables, which Akari is currently interacting with. Now, not all characters act the same. You guys should know that. Um, for instance, let me get Nozmi in here. Uh, Yori, Saren, Susana, and Kino. This is quite a weird setup, I know. Now, here you have the room items, which you can buy certain items for in your room to have. You can even have a nice Halloween background. Oh, here's your inbox, which you can put certain amount of items in and just throw them on here. I don't know what this is for, but it's like for all this um, item stuff in there. Um, here's probably stuff for your guild house, where you can save many amounts of them. Um, here's everything you can put in your inbox. Now, here you have the background music. You can see you can buy many different types of these musics. As you guys can see my coins, I know it's quite a lot, um, but... Here we have all the different type of music that, that is here. Even if you have not been gone through an event, you can get all of these, but there's a certain one you cannot get. Which is an um, uh, absolute secret. That's what the song is called. Um... You want to make sure you do story 815. That way you can unlock that song and you can get it. All these other ones you can just get. Yoko 
Um, now over here, here you can get all your characters to go in here. Um, here's info. And over here, here you can, uh, give your characters a little treat. Which, let me just show you guys how that works. Let me go ahead and get, um, uh, see if anyone wants this. Uh, Mithuya, for instance. Doing this unlocks more character bonds, which means the bond goes up. After you got a bond, at rank 4 or 8, you get this background. Which is when the character starts to talk. You can also skip it if you want, but I'm just gonna go through this one. I got now the bond eight. And as you see, we unlock ourselves more um, story stuff. Which, um, for instance, with Yukari, uh, we need more items. But now we're gonna have to level up Anne, as I still have some things to um, do. So we're just gonna rank her up. And I think we still have enough to rank up uh, Yukari as well. Doesn't seem like Anne has a real life story. Like, certain characters have a real life story when the others they don't. Bond system also increases if you beat battles when using the characters. It is really handy as I now need to only beat 8 battles when using Yukari. Really helps out a lot. Go to gacha. There's many type of gachas. There's um uh, this one which you can get a certain amount of gear which expire which always ends at either 9 or 10, which seems like these ones are going to be ending at 10 at 9 now. Yeah, these gachas are going to be ending at 9 now, so that's pretty cool. Um, here we have the classic gacha, which you can just pull for, to get a character, which here are the three featured ones, which I own all three of these. Um, you have Dijeta, you have Reno, and you have Hatsune. Hatsune is one of the most easiest characters you can get. Um, now, for this Halloween banner, um, this character, Halloween Mimi. They, people say she's going to be a permanent character. I'm not so sure about that. But she is quite a cute little girl. You have to admit, I'm not. Here's all the settings and stuff. I'm not going to go through this. But one thing I... Two things I do want to go through. Three, actually. Um, one is the friend system. This has been released a little while ago. Um, here you can let people borrow your girls. Which I forget to um, claim my mana. I'm going to keep it like that. No. The mana is really helpful. Um, here you can find people to send them friend requests and that stuff. Um, which one of my friends recently removed me since I do not know how to play the game. So um, I don't know how I'll be able to search them up. By name, it's not possible. Um, now here's your friend card and um, that was your character card, and here's your guild card. Which my guild is English, I'll be leaving that. Going back to the settings. Um, next up we have the um, the metal system. Now here you can equip these certain um, metals on you, which people then can see how far you've gone, as I got the one for AOI. Let me just equip that one. So now we show people that I got 3 star AOI. And if you get yourself a 5 star character, no need to worry, you can do it with the 5 stars too. Like for instance, Kiaru. I can just do that, see? Last thing I want to talk about is the, uh, the portrait changes. Here you can be able to change your name, um, your description. You cannot change your ID, um, though. Here you can show your privacy stuff. And stuff. Um, here you can even change your portrait, and whatever your portrait is, that is the character that will be on the campaign map. 
So, um, yeah, it also needs your um, birth of date. Or your birthday. Uh, I'm just going to go through a tiny few more things. Um, here is the store. You can get a lot of mana from this. Um, stamina is also possible, but you're going to need gems for that. And your inbox... Zero two. Um, going over here, here's everything that you have in here. Um, from everything, from gear to um, uh, to items and that stuff. And over here are all of the character shards, which, as you guys can see, I have quite a lot of character shards. Um, yeah. And I hear um. Here you can check some stuff. Um, here you can check everything that you've uh, discovered so far. Um, there's still one thing I need to discover, which are the grant, which are the grandmaster coins. Uh, here it's all the the um, uh, equipment, including the unique equipment, actually. Um, this all for um, your unique equipment that you've gotten. And here are all the character shards. Now you guys may be noticing I'm missing a ton. Um, which is obviously indeed noticeable. Um, then we're gonna go find through two character stories. Um, and we're gonna skip. Which you guys will notice we got a ton of gems. And I'm also gonna skip the one from it for you. But you order to do a pull, a solo pull, you need 150. And for a 10 pull, you need the exact same, just times 10. I also can go through this if you want, if, through these stories if you want. I'm just gonna skip them. Um, now let's do a gacha pull. Chances of three stars are very low in this. Um, two star rates are up as well for one star rates, which quite sucks. But you never know what you're gonna get unless there's a rainbow paper that Karen, um, the character that always runs, um, is holding. Um, then you know um, it's going to be a 3 star, but you don't know who it's going to be. Um, now here, when you pull a character, when you already have them, it will show a voice line over here. But if you don't have, but if you do have them, it will show you the god of gems and how many amounts. 1 stars give you 1, 2 stars give you 10, and 3 stars give you 50 if you get a duplicate. Here's the sparking system. You can be able to trade in your points um, for a character that, that you don't own. Which for this case is the banner character. Which this one is Halloween Mimi. And a special event character, you can go through their first story. Which is quite great. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much about it for today's video, guys. Just go ahead and throw up um, uh, Yui. And as you can see in here, we just got ourselves in our daily mission done, which doing that gear pull got us another one. Also requires you to do these, um, which are like chest stuff. I also want to start up a piece of gear and that stuff. Um, it is all required to complete daily missions. Alright, so, oh yeah, I forgot about events. Um, when beating a certain event, you get a special character, which you never know who it is. Um, which is basically the main card character, and you also get a sub-event card character, which... For the, for the Dragon Explorers, it could either be... Um, Matsuri... Or Tomo, which Tomo is the character I don't own, which is this one. But anyways... 
I think that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you all found this tutorial helpful. Um, sorry if I was not really um, good speaking. But I'll see you all in the next video, which is going to be on Dragon Explorers. Bye, guys.